Hello, my name is Peter, and welcome to another video about Sailing Vessel Silver Heels, My Roads 22. So we're still uh, engaged in a series of projects here in the spring of 2018. Uh, and I'm not sure everything that's going to be in this video, but we're going to start with the process of installing the new refrigerator into the galley. This is going to be uh, a little bit complicated, I think. There's going to be a uh, bunch of events that have to happen in the in the right sequence. Um, and I'm not confident I'm going to get the sequence right the first time. Uh, but I'm uh, pretty sure this part's correct in that we have uh, installed, reinstalled the uh, base for the cabinets and we have uh, the countertop installed in its elevated position uh, which is where it needs to be in order to uh, maneuver the cabinet with the refrigerator underneath it. So uh, the next step in the process will be to assemble that cabinet here uh, on the cabin floor. But we're going to create a little uh, raised floor so the hump from the center board won't be in the way. So for step one, we've begun the assembly of the carcass on our temporary raised floor. So we've uh, got the cabinet uh, shelf attached to the forward end of the cabinet. And we've left off the aft end of the cabinet because it's going to be easier to deal with the installation of the compressor uh, into the cabinet with that end open. So that's the next step. Our compressor is in place and after thinking about it some I believe our next step is going to be to put the actual refrigerator unit into the cabinet. So with the ice box installed in the cabinet. We can now uh, connect up the temperature sensor wire and then we can kind of organize and bundle up uh, the excess wiring uh, so it won't be in the way and then I think we'll be ready for the aft end panel. So we've got our uh, excess lengths of control wires uh, under control. So we coiled them up here and zip tied them. Uh, so the remaining connections are uh, connection here goes to the control box uh, that lives on the front. And of course we've got our power connections still to make. Uh, but we are ready for the aft end panel now. So the aft end panel is installed and also we uh, sorry about the camera shot I can't really see what I'm doing here but I uh, managed to get uh, two braces on the back installed and uh, got the tubing for the coolant uh, all in place and secured so it won't vibrate around. We haven't actually uh, firmed up these connections, which uh, will be the next step. But that'll be tomorrow. Good morning. We did come back this morning and uh, using a pair of wrenches uh, tighten up the connections um, for the tubes that take the refrigerant from the condenser to the evaporator or holding plate. Uh, so those are now in place and we can continue with the next step uh, which is 
we need to uh, put the top of the refrigerator in place, which involves three additional pieces of foam. Um, and I will put those in place with uh, a sealant, uh, some silicon, because it's what I have hanging around. And after that, I think we're ready to go about putting the cabinet in place under the countertop. Our three top pieces have been siliconed into place. So now is crunch time when we get to see if we can fit this cabinet under the countertop. Ah, well, we are almost home. Now, the tricky part of that operation was actually to uh, get the power wires up uh, through the back of the countertop where they're going to connect uh, to the rest of the electrical system and while simultaneously pushing the case back into place. Uh, so there's just a few more uh, steps we need to take to get the countertop properly positioned relative to the uh, refrigerator uh, foam and then to drop it down into place. Well, the countertop is now resting on the cabinet. Uh. So just a couple hundred more screws and that'll be done. Uh, we have uh, uh, all the electrical connections to make as well. So uh, there's quite a bit of work ahead of this. Uh, a lot of the details about uh, installation of the cabinet uh, are the same for the refrigerator here as they were last year uh, for the ice box and I covered them in uh, a lot of detail then so I, I won't uh, do that again um, now you can go back and check it out if you'd like uh, well back to work so things are moving along uh, we've got the cabinet firmly attached to the rest of the boat we put in the other side of uh, the partition uh, the partition for the other side of the drawers and we put in the top and bottom drawer uh, just to be sure that the spacing on those is correct and uh, we're now going to uh, put the top in to the uh, lid area and we're gonna put some more silicone on this surface all the way around uh, to uh, seal that up from nasty drafts. We've also gone to the trouble of uh, checking against our wiring diagram and confirming that all of the wires that were supposed to be led up behind the refrigerator are in fact here. Because <laughs> uh, it would be not easy to, uh, to snake a pair of wires through if they got left behind down in the bilge. So now we've brought the galley upper shelf unit uh, back into the boat and that will allow us to make all of the electrical connections behind the panel, uh, the breaker panel area. So <clears throat> we'll get started on that. All of our electrical connections have been made with the exception of a, a couple that need to be made uh, for the VHF radio uh, when that gets installed. Um, the the quick connect plug there uh, is wired in but there's some uh, wires that tie into the uh, NMEA um, data bus so those will have to wait uh, but uh, we didn't uh, we weren't missing any wires and we didn't have any extra wires so uh, that gives us the confidence to move on and be pretty sure we won't have to uh, rip all this out again when we discover we were missing something uh, so the next uh, item to go in would be the front 
uh, face of the cabinet. Before attaching the face frame uh, to the front of the cabinet, we had to make the one last connection uh, from the compressor to the control box that lives here on the front of the panel. And that's this uh, black wire that runs into the back of the box here. And there's a telephone uh, style connection in, in there. And I've got uh, a couple of pieces of wood just jammed into this channel to uh, keep the wire in the channel is when I make the attachment. So that's that. The refrigerator installation is complete. There's more to be done, of course, to complete the uh, reinstallation of the rest of the galley, uh, but that's uh, pretty straightforward and covered in an earlier video. Uh, so I think that will tie up this particular topic. Thanks for watching.